really when I came in here I think there was a real attitude of that's the community and this is the university and everybody go their own separate ways and um, neither the president at the time or myself believed that you know I've always believed that the university is an important part of the community so the community ambassador program is a program for student leaders on campus so there's 11 of us that are um, on the team um, we are in charge of helping and being a resource to a couple of communities off campus. So Children's Miracle Network is a nonprofit group that uses lots of different ways to fundraise for different hospitals, children's hospitals. Dance Marathon is one of their biggest, fastest growing venues getting this money and um, there are about 170 schools that have this program. The money that we raise goes to children with all kinds of ailments and illnesses, anything from children with diabetes, uh, broken bones, to some more serious things like childhood cancer. This year we had around 1,500 students in attendance. We raised over $131,000. 100% of our money goes to the Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Our main mission within Towson, but then also is not only to be good neighbors, but to build community. Us making a presence and making us known, it makes them feel special. You know, having like Community Appreciation Week, only commuters can have the free things. That's that makes them feel special. You know, that makes them understand that they're important. They're they matter. You know, having um, community ambassadors in these neighborhoods is really allowing us to bridge the gap between the residents and the students. It's really helping us. You know express what we need to and helping the students express what they need to and helping the students understand why the residents have the thoughts that they do so it's just it's really there to help and that disconnect so it's it's really has shown positive encouragement i think that the tiger stripes program has really revolutionized how we handle student groups on campus down the road i think that you know we have took a major step in getting our students involved in the community before we only required around three to five hours per member in a student group and now we're requiring like you know 100 150 hours of community service and you know groups are just they're out there getting getting it done you know they're always they're constantly looking for community service events to go to students are everywhere they're working in town they're living in the neighborhoods and they go to school here and so how do we help introduce them to folks but also integrate them as real members of the community CAB is the Campus Activities Board. We're the main programming branch of the SGA and we work um, closely within the Division of Campus Life and Student Affairs. Our organization is to offer a fun and diverse event for students to come to outside the classroom. Last semester we hosted a really awesome speaker named RJ Mitty at an event called Pause for Positivity. He was able to speak about disability and ableism and how that's impacted him. Additionally, we did a group called Everyone is Gay. They're a, a, a blog, Tumblr famous kind of group that speaks about um, safe space for LGBTQI youth. We also do some music. It's not all just speakers and lectures. So we're not isolating people here. We're expanding them. We're showing them what's new and what's around. You always hear this thing like, you're going to go out to the real world. You're going to go out to the real world. But you are living in the real world here. And we try and make that as real as possible by the types of programs and offerings that we have for our students. The work that we've done to empower students to take responsibility for their own leadership. Um, and by that I mean, you know, we've worked for years now to have students think about what does it mean for you to have an engaged campus community or what does it mean for you through the Community Ambassadors Program, for example, to be a good neighbor. And then to let students really take ownership on developing that message and sending that message and modeling that message. So Leadership is a six-day leadership institution, totally different than anything at least I had ever experienced with leadership retreats or leadership training. So Tiger Pride Day is one day a year that Towson students, it's led by student government, but it's open to all students. So I know professors come and bring their classes extra credit, and we take buses down to Annapolis. So this is the only day Towson really has a strong presence in Annapolis and in the state house. So we go there, we accept resolutions on the House floor and the Senate floor. If you have an issue with something, um, it doesn't mean necessarily complain about it, but find a constructive way to move forward with it. And I, I would always suggest if you have a student concern, give an alternative. There's still people who care about things that are larger than them. There's still people who are willing to have these conversations and discussions and work for change in a way that is very selfless. 
is not necessarily whether you have a title or not, it's whether you have the confidence in yourself to step up and take initiative. Everyone can lead with integrity and you know, have a healthy disregard for the impossible. And I think that's what really attracts, attracted me to leadership was this idea of what does that mean, a healthy disregard for the impossible. And it was kind of through the experience of the six days that you kind of learn that having that healthy disregard for the impossible is what allows you to challenge things that already exist. I can leave and have a legacy and basically leave SGA and Towson in good hands. And the stronger that you can make the relationships between both residential neighbors and business neighbors, the stronger the experience is going to be for students and the more significant the impact the university will have on the community. Certainly universities have a lot to offer to folks who live in a community that has a huge institution like Towson in it.